Hello students, today we're going to be talking about the passive voice, part two, and I'm going to give you three ways to use the passive voice. So how do you make the passive voice? Remember it's subject plus the verb to be plus past participle. So classes are offered on Mondays and Wednesdays. Classes is the subject, the verb to be is are, and the past participle is offered. Newspapers are delivered every day of the week. Newspapers is the subject, the verb to be is are, and the past participle is delivered. So one of the ways that you can use passive voice is if you want to shift the emphasis in the sentence from the doer to the receiver of the action. Let's look at this sentence here. Zainora made this yummy dish. Who's the doer? Zainora. Okay. What is the action? She made the dish. And who is the receiver? The yummy dish. Okay. If you switch it and use the passive voice, this yummy dish is the receiver of the action. Was made is the verb. So you've got the to be was and the participle, uh, past participle made by Zynora. Zynora is the doer. So you have to ask your, quest your questions. What is the action? Who did the action? What received the action? And which is more important? In the first sentence, the fact that Zynora made it is more important. And in the second sentence, the yummy dish is more important. Another use for the passive voice is when we don't know who or what did the action. A window was broken last night. A window is the subject. Was broken is the verb. Was is to be. Broken is the past participle, last night. Who broke it? We don't know. It could be the wind, it could be a bird, a baseball, someone trying to climb in or out. The focus is on the subject window because we don't know who or what broke it. And finally, a third way to use the passive voice is if we can assume who did the action. If it's obvious who did the action, we may also use the passive voice. A new stoplight was placed at the intersection on our street. Who did it, who made the stoplight or put it there is not nearly as important as the stoplight itself because we can assume that the local traffic crew installed the light. What's important is that the stoplight was made there and it could be more inconvenient or it could be safer. There could be many reasons why having a new stoplight on your street is important. So these are three ways and I thought you would like to know for using the passive voice.